What's up? What's up, Witty? What it do? I'm over here watching TikTok. Sorry for the noise in the background. What's going on? It's your girl Kelly, and we're back with another what? With another vlogster. Okay, y'all. So, um, we skipped yesterday. Um, yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, and I'm off work. Thank you, Jesus. Um, y'all, it's so crazy. Like, I've been having that same migraine, like on and off. And if you like suffer from migraines, then you know like sometimes it doesn't fully go away. Like your head will stop hurting, but like if you make the wrong Oh my second, what is that? But if you make like the wrong moves, like you could still feel it in certain areas. But this morning I woke up with my head kinda of hurting to the goodie powder. So I'm okay for right now. I'm really hoping that I don't have a headache for the rest of the day because I have stuff to do and I got plans tonight. Yeah. So I would have started the vlog as soon as I woke up, but child. I couldn't. It's um 12 19 right now. I'm about to go ahead and eat me a little lunch. So we're gonna be eating these. I got these from Trader Joe's. I really don't like the pork ones that much, but all they had was pork left, so I just ended up getting them. I'm gonna just dress them up to make them how I want them to taste. And then um, yeah, so I don't even know what day of vlogmas this is. I don't think I'm gonna like keep up with like what day is what because clearly i'm still vlogging in november like it's still november it's the day before thanksgiving so i'm not gonna keep up with that i'm gonna put it on the screen like whatever the intro is or whatever so y'all can know what day it is but yeah that's that on that um as far as today oh i was not supposed to do that as far as today goes though y'all i am supposed to be um what i put this on girl 120 i think but as far as today goes, y'all, I need to, um, I actually already cleaned up, y'all. My kitchen is clean. Y'all remember when I told y'all I cleaned this area? I swear I did. It just looked crazy because I had to end up throwing some stuff over there real quick. But it's still clean. Like, it was so much other, more stuff over there that I had to get rid of, like, paperwork and all that. But, oh, yeah. Every, the kitchen is clean. Like, the kitchen is clean. The living room is clean. I haven't showed you guys the living room in a minute. Let's get into school. It's so crazy how I really stopped dead ass decorating. Like, I was supposed to get a new table, get a rug, all that, but I just said, F it. But the, it's clean. The only thing that's not really clean is my room. And I wouldn't even call that dirty. I just got clothes everywhere because y'all know I was washing clothes um, last week. So, one thing about me, I'm going to wash the clothes, but, but is they going to get folded? You may never know. Uh, you may never know. Um, them bitches will sit there until I wear them all and they need to be washed again. Like, folding clothes is like the worst chore in the world to me. I, I can't stand it. Oh, but yeah, what I was saying is, um, I needed to clean up, which I've already done. I took my trash out and all of that. Now, what I need to do is, I'm either about to work on my Vlogmas intro or do a wig collab. I'm honestly leaning more toward the wig collab first because, like I said, I got plans tonight. So, I'm thinking about doing that first, then working on the intro. And then, um... I don't know. Maybe edit a little bit. I don't know. Today may be a content day since I'm not doing anything. I'm really just so thankful to be off work. Like, just have a day of doing whatever I just want or need to do. I don't think this is done. The other ones usually be steaming. Mm -mm. And then, um, later tonight, Dez is coming into town. I told y'all that on the Monday vlog. Dez coming into town. She landed at, like, 1030, I believe. And we have a reservation at Taranga City tonight. Me and my homegirls. I feel like we haven't hung out as a friend group in so freaking long. Um, I'm excited. I miss them. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, we don't really hang out as much as we used to. Simply because Dez is in town. And we don't really like to do stuff without Dez. Because, you know, like, we get she's out of town. But it's like, we don't want her to miss anything. So, we just don't do anything. Which is like, what the hell? But, hey. Anyways, that's coming, so we're going to Taranga City. Um, I'm excited about that. Get a little drink, get a little hookah, whatever. And shoot, that's that's the plans for the day. So we're gonna see how today goes. I definitely wanted to come in and start a vlog since we didn't vlog yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it. And it wasn't nothing for me to vlog about yesterday. I'm trying to even think, how did my day go yesterday? Oh, let me tell y'all really why I didn't vlog yesterday, y'all. So I woke up so late for work. When I tell y'all, I was ready to start my vacation. I was ready because I woke up so late for work, y'all. Like, when I say 
I didn't have time to even think about picking up the camera. I left my camera and my computer at home. Y'all know I take both of them with me to work. Child, they both stayed at home. I'm doing the dash to get to work. And then, shoot, work was a lot. Work was draining. Everybody and their mama calling because y'all know it's the day before the holidays. They know we're about to be close. So everybody calling. Calling, calling, calling. Then what? After work. What happened after work? Shit, my head was really hurting. So I told myself I wasn't going to do nothing but go to bed because I had all day today to get stuff done. So I literally laid down. I slept all day yesterday. Like when I got home, I went to sleep at like 7.30. Woke up at like 11, 8, went right back to sleep. And I didn't wake up until 10 o'clock this morning. The only reason I woke up early this morning at 10 o'clock because my friends called me. I probably would have slept till probably about now. And you know, like when my head hurt, I could sleep for hours like because that's all i'll be wanting to do okay now this is this 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 is what i'm talking about <laughs> i don't know if y'all can see the smoke but y'all see the juice all the juice and stuff wasn't coming out the first time oh let me get a thumbnail y'all the hardest thing about doing daily vlogs is getting thumbnails because i don't be doing nothing okay so i have to remember to take pictures of literally every single thing that i do even if it's just a picture of me like i don't know but it's really hard but we gotta get up oh, rubber band all in the picture girl hold on that iphone camera really gets the job done okay one thing about me i need something sweet after i get done eating that food okay this is my last little chocolate bar y'all I'm really proud of myself because I would have ate that whole box in a, in a span of two to three days. But I paced myself. I really ain't even want them though. Once my period went up, I did not have no type of craving for it. But I really wanted something sweet. So here we are, baby. I'm just over here watching me a little TikTok for until I finish this. And then I'm going to get back to my new deals of the day. You know? Hey, ma'am. What's she making chitlins? Girl, everybody is on TikTok making a Thanksgiving food. I don't see that. No. Oh, he would have got his ass beat off the frame. I tried to get my mom's attention. And, of course, she was ignoring me. The little dog voiceovers are so cool. I watch them all the time, y'all. few moments later. Over here watching, don't call me white girl. Got my um cover in a washing machine. But y'all, like, I'm over here trying to work on my closet. Mind y'all, it was 10 times worse than this. 10 times worse. Like, I finally got all my shoes together. Y'all just got so much stuff. Like, I can't wait to get, like, a big closet. That's my dream, to have, like, a big, huge closet. Because, y'all, I got shoes over here. This whole wall of shoes. This whole wall of shoes. And then all of this right here. And I'm steady buying shoes because I told you I'm working on my shoe collection, mainly my tennis shoe collection. And tennis shoes take up a lot of space. I'm sorry if that's really loud. I'm going to talk loud so y'all can hear because I, I want to vlog. But yeah, I'm over here trying to like figure out what I need to do. I got shoes even up here at the top, y'all. So I'm thinking about taking down... Y'all see that white, um... That white thing right there? It got... Uh, like, it got... It actually got a lot of winter shoes in there. I need to take that down because I don't think I'm I think all of that stuff is like oh it's hell at this point that I'm probably not gonna end up wearing it again so it's like why don't I just give it away um so I might just go ahead and give that away and put like all these sandals and stuff in there like I swear switching out your like stuff for the holidays not holidays for the seasons is really aggravating because winter stuff takes up so much space like these boots I don't have no room for all this stuff. <sighs> I damn sure don't feel like getting up there and getting that damn thing down. Shoot! 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 Hmm. Let me get a little chill. And I'm really over here um taking my time. I could have been done with this, but like I'm really like moving like a snail because I don't feel like doing any of this. I'm getting a chair right now so I can get to the top of this closet because y'all I'm so short like I need a chair and a stool for every single thing I do in here ah! and I'm also thinking about putting this wallpaper up in my room today because like why not because y'all know I already bought the wallpaper and it's just I just don't feel like doing it so maybe I could do that as well maybe I could do that as well let's see Ooh. 
Oh shit! Oh lord! I don't want to fall. So y'all, here's everything that's in here. My Michael Kors bag. I got this so many Christmases ago. I don't even wear. I might get that away. Sandals from years ago. All this stuff really can go, y'all. Like these boots. I know I'm not wearing again. These vans. I honestly could use these for like excursions and stuff. So that's why I hold on to these. All this. I don't know. These kind of cute. I might get these away though, cause I'm not the biggest fan of them no more. Hmm. Yeah, I just got so much stuff. Like, all of this stuff really can go. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, everything in here can go. Wait, I might need to keep these. They dirty, but these are only red sandals I could ever find that's actually cute. Y'all, why didn't came out of the house looking like this? My plan was to get that skin and go like through some drive through but I didn't really want none of that, so I ended up coming to um, American Daddy. Looking crazy. Hey, so. Let me sweat. Every time I get in the car, this song going, girl. But yo, yeah, I'm outside looking like this girl, looking crazy, y'all. One thing about me, like, don't get me wrong, I used to, like, I used to be one of those people, like, bitch, I'm gonna go outside of my bunny, I don't care who see me, blah, blah, blah. But I have really grown out of that. I hate being seen outside in my bunny. Like, unless I'm about to go through, like, a drive through or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care, then. So, I'm hungry. I'm really starving. I'm like, dang, what I'm about to eat. So, I get in my... I got food at home. Don't get me wrong. But everything in there is, like, I have to cook it. And it's going to take a while. And I'm starving, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry right now. So, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to drive around see who um drive through it's open right now. Oh, girl, they about to get into a wreck. But I'm going to see who drive through open right now, and I'm just going to do somebody's drive through I'm literally riding around, y'all, like, cruising. Because I don't, I don't know what I want. I'm just hoping I ride by and see something that I like. Girl, nobody, nobody is hitting on them. Like, I'm just, I'm passing up everything. I'm like, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. To the point, girl, I didn't roll so far. I'm not even buying none of the food no more, so... I didn't turn around and I'm like, man, fuck it. I'm about to go over here and give me some wings because I know they're going to be fast too. So um, I didn't came over here to American Deli. When I, I kid y'all not, my food was ready in five minutes. I put my order in. I said, give me a, a 10 piece off filet. <laughs> and that shit was ready in five minutes. I kid y'all not. Like literally right after that clip, they called my number. Cool with me. So I got my food. I got my little mixed um of my drink oh girl sometimes my eyebrows really be looking non-existent even though they do they just so thin but um yeah i'm about to fuck these wings up girl i remember that they told me at the orthodontist that i can't um eat wings who <laughs> bitch who i'm about to tear these bitches down make me harder make me lose my breath it tastes a little watered down today. They mm -mm, they ain't put enough sugar like how they used to, how they usually do. You know, they be putting a whole bag of sugar in there. Oh, what time it is though, y'all? Let me give y'all like an acre. What time it is though? Oh, it's four o'clock. I said I was gonna start doing my makeup at um six and then do my wig collabs. And then by the time I'm done with that, it should be time for me to like start looking for something to uh, put on. I think everybody went like something regular like i think they wear sweatpants and hoodies and shit but i'm not gonna cap i'm probably gonna i'm just an extra friend like i have come to a realization that i am that friend like i cannot stand to like dress down and go somewhere like you're never about to catch me outside in sweats for real like unless they like some cute ass sweats which i don't really own i always put on clothes so i used to really feel like the eyeball out when everybody wants to put on sweats and I got on real clothes but I really don't be caring no more like I might have a whole ass outfit on tonight while everybody else got on whatever they got on simply because my hair and my makeup is about to be done and you can't waste the bad bitchery you know like I can't do that so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear cause I also kinda wanna take pictures I ended up taking pictures that night of my anniversary. they weren't the cutest though like they weren't the cutest but they're not bad either 
and i haven't posted on instagram for real for real over like two months like a real deal like instagram post and i just feel like once i stop i don't really kind of want to do it again because it's like <sighs> i don't freaking know it's it's just like i it's so much easier like i don't have to care about being accepted or people liking my pictures like i don't know but i also want to take them i can't, i've been saying i want to take pictures on every single vlog and have yet to do it it's like you keep saying the shit when are you going to actually do it what that girl on tiktok be saying oh my <laughs> This is my food though, all flex game per. I got honey hot, that's my go to. Child, one thing about Janae, like she just had the sweetest voice ever. But this girl be talking about getting fucked in every song. It's really insane. What is my bronzer brush? I literally just had it in my hand, didn't I? But anyways, while I'm doing my makeup, let's get into a little grub chit chat. I feel like I ain't really talk to y'all. Like, talk, talk to y'all in a little steak it, child. But, um, let's talk dating. Or dating for me, at least. Um, so y'all know, like, I had, like, zero on the roster, like zero on the roster okay so here k won't come like bruh like let me just put you on a blind day um i don't know why but she want me to be in a relationship so i could go on double dates with him i'm like girl what she like no you do just need to like you know you know settle down or whatever so i'm like i mean i want to but it's nobody that i've come into contact with that i like that i that i just you know i don't find a lot of niggas attractive like I just don't. And Camo feel like I like pretty boys. I like two cute boys. And I'm like, no, that's not even the case. Like, you just need to be, shit, you need to look good to me. Because if you, if, if the attraction is not there, it's not going to go anywhere. So, um, I ended up telling y'all that I wasn't going on a blind date and I'm not. So, like, um, I basically stopped texting him. Some days had and went by, maybe like a week. He ended up calling Kmo twice and she didn't answer the phone for him and she come telling me that he had didn't call her or whatever. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what you gonna say to him? She like, I don't know, what should I say? I'm like, let me think about it. <laughs> Whole time I really had didn't forgot and he texts me the next day. I kid y'all now, he texts me the next day. And he was like, um, hold on, I don't even remember what he said. Let me read it to y'all word for word. He said, Kella, I'm sorry, not sure how I missed this. Oh, wait. Wait, I skipped the point. He was like, what's up, Kella? Just circling back. Were you still interested in trying to link? And I am not going to lie. It's only based on the fact that Kmo set it up. I didn't want to give her a bad name or put, like, you know, her in a sticky situation. So I replied. I was like, hey, yeah, let's plan something for this sometime this week, which is the week we're in right now. So that was on a Friday. That was on Friday. Why did he text me back Monday at... 8 o'clock that night. My job, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I stopped texting him first. I did, I did, I did. But what you gonna text me back and then turn around? Like, what you trying to get like a little get back or something? I really don't know. You waited two days. Over two, over two days to text me back because it was that late that night. And he said, Kella, I'm sorry. Not sure how I missed this, but still love to link up this week if if you interested i noticed the holidays but let me know your availability honestly he didn't give me he he only gave me a, um an excuse not to text back because if you would have texted me back right then and there i would have replied and i would have been like all right cool it's a go we're gonna go on a date just just to go you know see see where it go but since you want to you know, I don't know, be weird, because you saw the text message. And mind y'all, he follows me on Instagram, and he was watching my story every single day. So, you saw the message, and then you're going to text me act like you ain't see it. Like, that's number one way to piss me off. Like, who are you talking to? Because, like, niggas don't know, like, I'm really, I'm the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I be on it. I know every game in the book, okay? Every, every last one of them. So, I'm like... I thought about replying and really just being like, yeah, right, you know, it is what it is. But I, I decided I'm not even going to reply because I don't want to go on a date anyway. So it's no need for me to say anything, you know. So, you know, we was at a we was at a 1.5 for the roster with him. <laughs> 
So, um, let's like rewind a little bit to I can't remember whatever day I was uh was last at my cousin's house when I had went to that birthday party and all that that day. Um, this boy, damn, I think I talked to y'all about this too. How like dudes be weird. I don't know if I didn't talk to y'all about it, it's cause I I took it out that vlog. But I had I had talked to y'all and I was like the way that dudes communicate these days are super weird like it is super weird to me like i hate it so like lately a lot of guys they'll follow me on instagram and i don't know what's going on, on instagram lately i feel like they pushing my content but i don't know what they're pushing because i'm getting a whole bunch of followers and people are liking like different stuff it's not just one thing when it comes to instagram and they pushing your stuff they usually push like one picture and they'll push it on the explore page and that's the thing that everybody liked but it was people liking all type of stuff i couldn't really pinpoint it but anyways i've been getting a lot of follows from dudes or whatever so um y'all know how that go once a nigga follow you they gonna like all your pictures or whatever so he likes all my like not all of them he likes three pictures he likes three pictures i didn't end, you know i went to his page to go look but like i'm not in the tit for tat thing like like just because you like some of my pictures don't mean i'm about to go to your page and like pictures like i'm just really not with it i feel like if you if you find me attractive or you want to get to know me just send me a dm why do we got to do the back and forth and don't get me wrong i'm gonna get to that part but anyways so um a couple i think maybe like an hour or two went by then he come back circling around like in my stories and i had like a couple of stories up that day and he likes all of them like liked all of them and i'm like okay i'm gonna just play the game so i went to his page and i liked one picture one and i kid y'all not literally right after i like the picture he comes right in me in my dm and he was just like what's up with you and i'm like um, what did I say? I really don't even remember. I, I really don't feel like getting into the, all the details of it. I'm a, But anyways, basically, we ended up going from the DM to texting the next day or whatever. And don't get me wrong, it was cool at first, y'all, but it was just like a lot of red flags. <laughs> and I, I don't really want to call them red flags because they're not real red flags, but to me, they was red flags. So if you if you know you know like one of my things is i really rather not talk to somebody who has kids i know with me being 26 that i'm probably gonna i'm probably gonna end up talking to a nigga who got kids you know what i'm saying but like if i had if i if i can i'm gonna avoid it but so he told me um when we was talking like you know tell me about yourself he told me he had a child and then what else he said oh y'all he plays a sport he has a child and what else did he say to me i really cannot remember oh i'm tripping how do i not remember this he is 23 y'all he's younger than me and let me not sit here and act like i wouldn't talk to a dude that's younger than me because i'm not gonna lie like i be i a tt like a young tender i'm not gonna lie like i will talk to a young nigga before i talk to an older nigga any day and when i say older i mean like six plus years older than me i cannot go no more than that um younger than me the most i'm going is maybe three years now that i'm 26 so yeah like 23 last year y'all was talking to a 21 year old oh my goodness that nigga still be trying to talk to me to this day i don't know what i had going on y'all oh i would not do it again but yes anyways y'all he was 23 so we you know kept the conversation going mind y'all it's only been a week yesterday made a week i think and today is wednesday yesterday made a, no monday made a week monday made a week so um we text and we text in communication isn't the best but i mean i understand because like of what he does it's not gonna be the best but like when we did communicate it was good like he was he was doing some stuff that i had found weird but like i ended up thinking it was kind of cute like he'll randomly send me a picture or something and i'll be like why did he send me this and I'm, i literally asked him like why did you send me this he was like this random picture mail like what you got and he, he um i sent him a picture and we both explained our picture so like that was cute and like he one of those people like anytime like i ever asked him what he doing or something he'll send me a picture like he just like to communicate through pictures is what i kind of caught on to which i thought was really cute like i don't think i've ever really talked to nobody who did that but outside of that the communication was not the best like like i said don't get me wrong i know like what he does probably takes up his time but i've talked to 
I don't want to say plenty, but I've talked to other niggas who do the same exact thing as him. And communication was never like that crazy. Like we would literally text like good morning, and then I wouldn't hear from them till like literally end of the day. But like I know, like it's it's it, you know it could be more communication. I know for a fact. So like that was a thing, and then like, I was letting it go. Like I was letting it be what it was, and then one day. It happened and I'm like, you just not getting done? And he was like, yeah, my bad. I'm going to call you when I get home. Because it was like, you knew what the fuck you was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you knew you knew exactly what I was hitting on. And when I tell y'all, we was on the phone all night long. All night. Like, we was on the phone for hours after that. And then, you know, everything was all good. What else? Shit, long story short, y'all. I basically stopped texting that nigga because... I'm not finna keep I'm not finna tell you how to communicate with me. Like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I feel like if you don't already know how to communicate, then we we're not gonna do this. Like no. I'm not gonna tell you like, oh you need to do, 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 do. I'm not nagging at nobody. Cause bitch, I don't gotta talk to you. Like seriously, like and he's cool, like you know what I'm saying? Like nothing against him, but I just don't feel the need to be like I gotta tell somebody how to communicate. Like it's it's so simple. It's so simple. So now the roster is right back at zero, okay? Zero. It's really crazy out here, y'all. It's really crazy. Like, he really ain't do nothing to me. Like, Monday morning, he texts me good morning. And I ain't even text back because I had just decided at that point. I was just, I was over it. I was over it. And a part of me be feeling like, dang, bro. I mean, now I'm bored as hell. Like, at least I was um, talking to somebody. You know, like, it be like that. But now... I ain't gotta worry about um waiting on somebody to fucking text me back. That shit aggravating. Like, uh-uh. If you busy, we say you busy. Cause if I'm busy, I'ma say I'm busy. Cause sometimes he did though. He'll be like, oh, I gotta do this, I'm, you know, blah blah. Or I was doing this and I'll do the same, but I don't know. I feel like at the age I'm at now, everything needs to be checking out in the beginning. You know how like when you date, everything is so perfect in the beginning. Like, I don't think everything needs to be perfect, but shit, damn near. I need to be like, okay, cool. Because shit can't be rocky off rip. If shit rocky off rip, where is it going to go? Don't get me wrong, it can get better. But nine times out of ten, things are the best in the beginning. And if it's not the best off the rip, then it's like, okay, this shit, I don't know. But shit, he ain't trying to um, like, double sex me or nothing. So shit, he don't, he don't care either. Shit, it is what it is. We both cool on it. He was only talking for, what, a week? One week. Oh, my lashes getting back long, girl. Y'all, my eyelashes so thin, too. And they so straight. I never understood how my lashes were so straight. Like, every other piece of hair on my body is super curly. But my eyelashes, they just straight as hell. Can y'all see? But, yeah. That was a little, um, spill on my dating life, you know. Now we're talking to zero niggas. I mean, I could be talking to multiple, but like I said, I'm just not in the, the 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 space of wasting my time. Especially, like, with doubling back. Like, niggas always trying to double back on me. I feel like if that shit start working the first time, like, that's that on that. I don't want to talk to you again if that shit didn't work out. Even if it was probably, like, my fault. It's a reason that... I, it, it's a reason that stuff be failing. Don't get me wrong. Like, yes, yeah, some fairy tale situations where people come back to each other. And it's so different. But, uh-uh. Nope. Nope. I'm just not in that phase right now. I want something new. I want somebody nobody knows. Hell, somebody I don't even know. Like, it's just brand new. Like, brand freaking new. That's what I need. Because, like, the last boy I was talking to, we went to school together. And, like, I knew bitches that he used to mess with. I used to mess with niggas he used to be friends with. It was just real weird. I don't like that. I do not like that because that's weird to me. Like, I want to be with somebody that don't know really don't know nothing about me i don't know nothing about them in a good way because lord i don't want to find out some stuff that just made me think differently of them. <laughs> but y'all get what i'm trying to say like that's what i'm you know trying to get at here what time it is all right y'all it's eight o'clock um i'm about to go ahead and put this wig on this is the wig of the day I gotta make two videos, so I'm thinking about doing... Well, they told me they want me to do an Insta video, they want me to do a show video. I really hate doing show videos, because that's literally me just, like, doing stuff with the hell, which I don't really like. But I guess it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm about to 
get back to listening to my music y'all already know how that goes so i'm gonna come back once i'm like dressed so i'll give y'all a little outfit of the day or whatever and then yeah we're gonna head out for the night you ain't shit bitch said your children with your mama but you ain't great shit all right y'all this is the um hairstyle i ended up coming up with i didn't feel like like curling it and nothing so i thought of the best hairstyle i could do while keeping like the natural form of the hair and this was just like the easiest thing to do and it's giving like chill cute and i did um crisscross parting for the first time ever i've never ever done that and it's actually pretty cute so i might start incorporating that more in my hairstyles i'm not like a big fan of this hairstyle because i feel like it's just so burnt out but it worked for the night it worked for the video that's all that matters, okay? So, um, what we gonna wear to the club or bar or lounge or wherever we about to go? Um, we going to, um, this place called Taranga City. It's, like, right across from Zari. So, it, it kind of, it kind of got similar vibes, but it's more of a restaurant type, base type of place. But, this is what I'm wearing, y'all. Y'all know I bought this set in three different colors. I already wore the other two colors, so I'm wearing this one. And I'm probably gonna put on my Ricky Dupes and maybe, like, a black purse. That's what I'm thinking. That's what the vibes is giving for tonight. All right, y'all. This is the outfit of the night. Like I said, a little two-piece. This is it on. It's giving the girls thicky. Her. Ricky Zoops. Boya Sully. And, um, Pandora. Pandora. Castle earrings. That's one thing I really, really need to add to my Christmas list. I want some real diamond earrings. That's really what I want. And I pray to God if I get some, I don't lose them. Which is why I only wear the Hesto earrings to begin with. Because I got a bad problem with that. But um, I'm about to go ahead and leave the house. It's 10 10. I think um, Dad's literally just landed. So she's probably going to get there a little bit after us. Heading, Bianca to say, heading there. And I'm trying to figure out if I should even leave the house then. Because Bianca a good 30 minutes away. I'm literally not too far away from me. So I don't know. I need to might be late. But the table is for 10.30. But they're not even going to see everybody unless we are there. So, it's giving them. I'm about to wait for a little second. That's what it's giving. Oh, it's cold. Oh, they coming up. I coming like some of them. I'm coming like aching like a motherfucker. It's cold. I'm coming like some of them. We got to the summer. Shit, I hope they don't play around with the reservation. I'm so cold. Y'all really shaking. This is where we at, though. It's called Taranga City. She going to open the door. If you see me and you trying to see what's up He wanna fuck with me then I'ma have him stuck Looking bad and got a stupid black Jewelry on your wrist, hold it up When I have a key, let me pull up Call 10 and 5 and they fast as fuck I'm looking good when I'm hopping out that truck Where the hood niggas said they get them fucked If it been free, but we ride dirty Run with your boo, yeah, that's my dirty My sister in the back, she with a dirty Niggas on the shoe, that's how I step in curry Fuck a bitch, niggas show no mercy Do the bitch, these bitches dirty She like sexy, why you hurt me? Wow, I look crazy and tired, but anyways, y'all, um so y'all see we went out, we had a good old time. I had some food, two drinks. We ended up going to Zari for literally like five minutes. We left, we back at the house. That's it, that's all. So this is gonna be the end of the vlog. I'll catch y'all on tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving. We're gonna work out in the morning. So maybe I'll get like a little bit of footage of that. I'm not too sure how that's gonna go. Um, but yeah, that's it, that's all. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Turn on the post bell notifications. Give the video a huge thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ta -da.